Hey peeps, welcome to D's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video on D's Corner. We got so much tea to talk about, it's crazy. But hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell because those three important things is gonna be what brings the tea, okay? And if you leave a comment on my video and if I like it, you're gonna get a shout out. And follow me on these corner at Twitter and on Instagram. So let's get ready to hop in on these crazy hot topics. Oh, well, yes, we definitely have some tea to spill this week. And I'm super excited. Glad that I am kind of getting back in the swing of things after giving birth. So how are you guys today? Happy Sunday. I am doing great today. Today is going great so far. And I'm just ready to get back in the swing of things and tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on things here we go so queen nija posted on her story and queen has had this accident a couple of times before i think queen is kind of like careless when coming out of driving just a tad bit but queen says me after running my tesla into the back of a concrete wall because i remember queen then ran into the wall or to a fence with a bike and other stuff. I'm like, girl, Teslas are a little too expensive to be um, backing up into a concrete wall. Girl, even Teslas drive by themselves, girl. What are you doing, sis? I want a Tesla. I want a Tesla, but girl, Teslas be driving by themselves. How you gonna back it up into a concrete wall? But yeah, Queen decided to let us know that she did that. Let's hope that Queen doesn't have any more any more of these because <sighs> Ooh girl, Teslas, they're expensive. Do you guys ever thought about owning a Tesla? Let me know in the comment section below. Cause Teslas they seem pretty cool. They they seem like a pretty cool car to move around and get you to a point b to c but did you guys also know it takes ten dollars to charge a full tesla and it usually take about what 60 to 70 80 dollars to charge i mean to gas up a um cadillac Escalade. <laughs> i'm like what carmen recently was doing an interview and it seems like carmen forgot where she's from was Corey right this whole time uh, well i'm I came from Houston. Houston. All right. Uh, would you would you would you say you're smart, friend? Smart. Facts. Just a yeah. little bit. Yeah. A little it bit. depends on when. One, one out of ten. Like, what's the, what's the range? I'm a good like eight. Hard to realize people are looking at her, and she needs to know where she's from. And also, the shade room posted this thread that Carmen had basically explained to her fans about going back to Corey. Will it ever end? So this is what it says. All right, y'all. Yes, I went back to this person that broke me down in pieces. Definitely wasn't part of plans at all. But God told me I needed it. I needed it. I dealt with so much again, but we're not going to discuss that. But I had to be there again to realize that's not for me anymore. Girl, you don't even want to be saved. So let's not add God to this. We told you too many times. Of course, said, tell the world why we get really mad. To be honest, do that. My sister is more life and material than you, and you can't stand it. The qualities she have used, see, I saw better <laughs> and can't stand it. But let the people know how you manipulated her too. Stop acting like I'm bullying you. And then this person said, B, you dumb as bleep. I'm sorry, I cannot keep feeling bad for you. He, he dogged you out and everything. And you gonna have... Okay, so basically, they was going bad. And then Corey was just, you know, saying, I want her, but can't save her. And then fans came into the comments, was like, understandable comment, but don't let this bleep happen again. And at, don't put God in that. He told you to leave the first time. I definitely agree. Because if you keep going back to the same problems, it's you. Don't be putting God tests in. This is that same problem that I have when people say, God told me to tell you. That's you. God didn't say didn't tell you to do anything. Then it goes on and says, Y'all won't understand her until y'all actually go through something like this. So no one shouldn't be judging her. Don't let a man show you more than once, bro. Girl, bye. To that first comment. Once once he already showed, I'm not going back 35 times just to say I need it again. Royalty cannot keep her comments herself. 
and this is why. I mean, justify the wrongdoings of this. Because since like every time I even post on my community, y'all always got something to say. CJ So Cool have been quiet for the past month. And Warty comes on and says, Little CJ, we are drinking toilet water. Like, so who really gave Day of the toilet water? Because Kamari's not in Vegas. So why are you bringing it back up, Warty? Who really gave Daya toilet water? That's the question of the day. Who really gave Daya toilet water? Because you're sitting here bringing up stuff. And yes, CJ is right. You always keep his name in your mouth. So why are you sitting here still saying stuff? And CJ so cool have been so quiet lately. You got blogs still talking about CJ. Like on the negative side. He hasn't even said anything. What they do that?